Hey guys, welcome to the cow emporium. Now we're weaning, so the cows are going to be noisy and they're going to be following me around because they're looking for their calves. But, uh, this time of year, uh, we're getting cows, groups of cows back together and groups of bulls back together that haven't seen each other all summer. And uh, we had a, a fight in the, the alleyway last night between a couple of bulls. Anyways, if you haven't seen my video on how to make the best barbed wire gate closer, uh, go check that sucker out. Just uh, toot my own horn a little bit here. This, uh, the bulls were fighting last night and they broke this post off. And this gate, there's a gate that goes across here that was uh, closed. And I wanted the cows to go down this alleyway to clean off that canola stubble. But with the bulls fighting, they broke the post and they broke the gate. And uh, here's the gate closer. I just made this one out of some old iron that I actually found out in the bush somewhere or other, believe it or not. It's not even new. I just had some flat bar and some round bar. and uh, So I got to pull this post out of the ground and I'll just straighten up this... Uh, Close her a little bit and put it in the new post and it will be good to go. But uh, the bulls hit the post and broke the post off right at the ground. And the, uh, the gate post that it was hooked up to, you can see they snapped it right in half. But uh, yeah, the clothes are still good to go. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pull that out of the ground and like I say, if you haven't seen that video on how to build the world's best barbed wire gate closer, well, check that out. So this is always a pain in the neck. Uh, this is probably, a, I'm going to say maybe a seven foot corner post. Ah. It's broke off in the hard ground, right at ground level. And I want to put the other one just right exactly here because I got two gates that hang on it. So I need to pull it out of the ground. And usually that involves digging all the way around the broke off part in the ground. And you got to dig it quite a bit down. And it's awkward because you're right next to the post. And then you put a chain around it, you either a uh, jack all jack or a tractor, and you hook onto it and you try and pull it out. Uh, I'm going to try and take this one out a little bit differently this time. Um, I'll pull this corner down and... Uh, show you how I'm going to try and pull this out. I've always wanted to try this. I don't know if it'll work, but I'll take you along and you'll see whether it works or not. And, uh, it'll make for good video, I think. Anyway, that's what I'm up to right now. Yeah, I got no end of help today. Hey, girls. Where you go? Come on. Come on. Fine, fine. We'll find something else to do for a while. I'm busy here. I don't think I dare set up the tripod. <laughs> it might, uh, yeah, it won't be good. All right, so this is what we got. There's a broken post. And there's a stump that it snapped off of. And there's another stump right beside it. It's such a pain to get these things out. Last time this post broke off, looks like there was a post that just got put in right beside the old one but uh we're gonna pull this try and pull this stump out and uh put a new one in the old hole so here's the plan these are half inch by four inch lag bolts and they're just what i had in the shop and i got a chunk of chain that uh, fits through them and that's a 3 8 drill bit i'm going to drill some 3 8 pilot holes that are about 30 degrees uh, off center. And then I'm gonna run these lag bolts in to sound wood and hook a chain up to both of them so it's pulling on them evenly. And then I'll be back with the tractor and a chain. If you don't have a tractor, probably a jack haul or anything else that'll pull really hard. And we'll see, either the post will come out of the ground or these will strip out of the posts. But I'm thinking if they're at an angle, we should be good to go. So let's give that a whirl.
right, so we got the big tractor here. Sometimes the little one just doesn't have enough to jerk these things out of the ground when it's uh, dry. We're chained up to the bucket. Uh, when I got here, it was wet, so I think Dad came out here earlier today and dumped a five-gallon bucket of water on it, which will probably help quite a bit getting things out rather than just trying to do everything dry. But, uh, yeah, we'll see if it comes out of the ground or whether we got to do this the old-fashioned way. I got to tell you, that was slick. Uh, that was basically just a proof of concept idea for me. I wanted to see if it would even work, but that worked really good. Uh, those were just four inch, uh, half inch lag bolts. I think I might go with, uh, get some six inch lag bolts that are half inch in diameter and, uh, That'll give me a little bit more to work with. This one was a particularly tough one to drill in the top because the top was broke off kind of really funny at an angle, but they're, they're never going to be perfect and they're kind of going to be rotten. So I think the longer the better. And, you know, if you can put them in at an angle rather than straight, that way uh, the threads don't have to do that much work. If the wood's rotten, it's kind of the angle it's pulling on will pull it out of the ground better. But yeah, that's super. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some water in that hole and put the other tractor on the post pounder and get things fixed up here. Awesome. Thanks for watching.